is Logger Pro software. When you first open up the program, you'll see a large area here that will be where our graph gets created after we enter our points or collect data. Along the vertical on the side, we have a data table that's where we actually can enter points to manually plot them. Across the top, we have a menu bar and some menu buttons that allow us to perform some data analysis. The first thing we're going to do is actually change the column heading to create a graph. So in this particular graph, I'm going to make time be the horizontal value variable. That's represented with letter T, and we'll measure that in seconds. You'll see that once I have done this, uh, not only has the title changed in the data table, but along the axis of the graph as well, we now have time being plotted. We'll do the same thing for the y-axis. This graph is going to actually be a position versus time graph. In physics, position is actually represented with an x, like x marks the spot. We'll use meters to measure this particular position. And when I hit done, you'll see that both the position along the graph and along the data table have been changed. I'm going to go ahead now and just start entering some of my points. In this particular tutorial, I'm creating fake data just for the sake of showing you how this works. I'm going to just start by entering some values here. In 16 seconds should be enough time for this particular graph. I'm going to go ahead and start entering the values for the other part of the ordered pair. And you'll see that as I'm actually entering those points, they get plotted in real time right on the graph. So you see that my graph has actually already been created. I could go ahead and if I wanted to, I could auto scale this so that I can see what it looks like. But I want to return this back to the original mode because I like to have the zero and both axes be what's plotted on the origin. I can do that by just clicking on the smallest value and typing a zero there. And when I hit enter, it goes back to the shape. So we see that this is really the best view for us. If I wanted to, I could go ahead and apply a linear fit to see if this really is a strong relationship. I can do that by clicking on this R equals or linear fit button. And once I do that, I get information that might be valuable for me in identifying whether or not there is a relationship between these variables. This is our first opportunity to create a graph using Logger Pro.